it's Amy Kay and welcome back to Sim by Design with a backyard stuff room build. I'm so excited. I love absolutely everything about this stuff pack and I am so 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 excited that it's just it looks so good and I love that the Sims is giving us like so much amazing stuff all the time now but this one uses, I made sure I used only base game and only the backyard stuff pack. So anybody can use it no matter what they have, as long as they have the backyard stuff. Because I used very little base game. Um, I used absolutely everything from the backyard stuff pack except, and I wrote down so I knew exactly what I was putting down. Um, one of the umbrella tables, which the one I didn't use is probably the coolest one. It's the one that has like the translucent, um, translucent umbrella. Um, I did not use the new like three panel picture and I did not use one of the slip and slides. I only, I used the shark one because I thought it was more fun. Um, but yeah, so as you can see now, I, or, uh, see earlier, I was trying to do like a um, patio that had, like, stairs on it, but it would not let me save the ground part as a room, a separate room, so if you get this, I personally, um, I may add on to this because I love it so much, I may just, like, take this and make a whole nother build out of it in a couple weeks because I already have, like, an idea of what I want to do for the house, um, like, just with that wall there, um, but... I would raise it up like three steps up. So you have like three steps going down from the platform or from the, from the deck. And you can see where I later, where I outline where the deck is going to be. And sorry if I'm talking super fast. I'm trying to get this recorded in like as quick as I possibly can because everyone's coming home soon and I have no time. I always, I feel like I always say that. But, um... I did not get to play with this, but I did find a couple cool things out while watching um, Deli and Little Simsy's um, kind of reviews of the pack earlier today. Um, you can get attacked by birds. Deli said like one in ten chance you can get an attack, get attacked by a bird when you use the bird feeder, which I think is hilarious. Um, if you've ever seen the movie The Birds by Alfred Hitchcock, which I'm a huge movie buff, so. Of course, I've seen it. You get, like, I would, I am terrified of, um, the big blackbirds, because that's what, uh, spoiler alert if you haven't seen it, that's what everyone gets attacked by in that movie. Um, but yeah, and then you can add soap to the slip and slide, which I think is so cool. Um, I may have to test this out sometime. And then this light thing right there, um, Deli did a build, Deligracy, if you don't know who I'm talking about, um, she did a build on her channel after she like she did a um, build for her review and it's like this cool little beach and I'm like I wish I had thought of doing that first um but she like strung these lights up under the roofing or kind of like on the roofing and it looks really cool but those slip and slides are a lot longer than I thought they were going to be I had like the build kind of planned out before I started it and when I finally put the slip and slide in, they were like super cramped. So I was just like, yeah, maybe not. So I had to make the backyard a little bit bigger. So this might be like on a super big lot later in the future. But anyways, uh, I was going to say something. Yeah, Um. so I kind of went for a um, dark wood on everything except for the cabinets. I will change those at like right at the very end. So the table and chairs and everything is, um, all, oh man, did I mismatch the umbrella? I thought I was doing that blue flower print umbrella the entire time, but the umbrella matches pretty much anyways. I tried to go for a, like, really fun, like, everything is dark wood, or like all of the furniture is dark wood except for the counters. And the siding and the windows and, like, anything connected to the house. And then the fence is all, like, white wood. And then the furniture is all dark wood with blue accents. And then 
I did like fun pops of color everywhere. Like this is super like a weird build for me because normally like as you guys most most of you guys know, I use a lot of white and black and cream on most of my builds. And this one was like really fun to kind of change that up and do um like super colorful like nothing's really like nothing really matches everything's kind of like mismatched but it looks like it all matches and here's where I take the picture out and I put a mirror in that place because I thought it would be kind of a cool out like you don't usually see mirrors outside and this is kind of under a roof I'm not exactly sure if it translates to translate if it uploads the roof part to the build or to the gallery but I really hope it is and speaking of the gallery I finally changed my origin ID so if you search for me um, as Sim by Design, the user ID, instead of Hey Amy K, you will find me. Um, I may start tagging my builds. Hey Amy K, I did not tag this one when I uploaded it to the gallery as Hey Amy K. Um, if you guys want me to do that so you can find me easier, let me know. But now, like, everything is Sim by Design. My Twitter, um, my YouTube channel, so if you go to youtube.com slash Sim by Design, and if you search me in Origin, it's all Sim by Design. Um... And I believe you do have to capital, it's capital S, capital B, capital D, um, I think. You may have to search it like that, because I tried searching it all lowercase and it didn't work, but this was, that was on the, um, like, web browser version, and I haven't tried it on the actual gallery yet, which, um, I will tweet out, maybe? No, I'll just try to post it on here if it doesn't work, if I remember. Um, but I think this turned out really cool. It took me, like, a lot longer than I thought it would. And this is one thing right here, like, just jumping around. I wanted to put a pond because that frog is a fountain. And I thought that was super cool. And I wanted to put a little pond, which if I will, I will end up doing this into a full build. I will probably put a little uh, pond or something right there using the fountain tool um, under the frog. Because I just thought that would be, like, a cool little oasis entry area to the backyard. Um, yeah. What else am I going to talk about? I don't know. I don't know what else I was going to talk about. Um, there was something else I had, but I can't remember. Um, this is really weird. <laughs> weird, awkward silence. But... Yeah, let me know what you guys think, and um, if you ever have, like, one of my builds and you use for your Sims, tweet me pictures, um, make a video of it, upload it, tweet me the video. Like, I just, I wouldn't, if you use my builds, I want to see. I love seeing, I, I would love to see you guys use my builds. Um, and, like, give me a backstory on your Sims. <laughs> This is where I end up changing the everything, like the countertops to white because I couldn't find um, a wood from anything that matched. But I think that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the new Kid Stuff Pack. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, follow me on Twitter at SimbyDesign. And... Follow me on Origin at Simbi Design as well. Links in the description as always. Um, yeah, have a great day. I'll see you next week. Bye.